As you come into the room, you can see this uh, first of the trogs here in the back has just dove behind one of the crypts and was just cowering after the first fireball had exploded. Uh, but seeing the rest, uh, or seeing you come up into the room, whoopsies, that's my audio mixer, you don't need that. Seeing mm. you come into the room here, he is going to draw forth some courage and then is going to come forward towards the doorway because he's not the best at, you know, planning. Mm -hmm. And it's just asking to get impaled by a Triceratops. But it's not going to be before he takes at least a swing or two at Selwyn with this great axe. And he is going to swing out. Gets your AC second, but it's a second. Right, wait, wait, before you, before you roll. Oh, oh. Because I have something for this. We have eight. Um, yes. I'll look at him. Give him the puppy eyes and, and say an undercoming. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> for 28. <laughs> and I'm using my empathetic plea. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna succeed. So what happens on a success? Um, he takes a minus four to all damage rolls against me. Okay, well he's gonna get a seventeen, uh, and uh, I guess he's feeling particularly bad. He's yeah. being undercommon and he's caught off guard and kind of pulls the swing and just <laughs> sleeps it wide. Yeah, I was merely pretending. I'll check him. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, leave him just kind of slump into the ground before he can even realize the mistake he made. He barely kind of turns around, looks at you for a second after that first swipe, and just an undercommon, why? What? And he stands up. And he just kind of slumps down oh. to the ground. I have an accident. Yeah. Yeah. And I would like to uh, point a bloody dagger at this person up here and say you're next. And I'll